You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Jab is on point right now. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. He landed that beautiful right hand. So if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels slowly into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for a ride. This guy's a full-on big one on Topuria going for the head kick. He misses that. Nice. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, that body shot hurt him. He's able to block the punch. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be in. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. 26 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, he's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Trouble. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kick were what got the belt. Oh, Huge left. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big left hand there inside. Oh, nice right hand. Huge left hand. Oh, man, he's a hard. Oh, oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Oh, nice body shot. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, Ready. he made it to the end Ready. of that round. Go. All right, round two. So Portia's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, you gotta start to look at Well played shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Back and forth we go. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking peace. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Panofsky's well, lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. We march on three minutes to go. And everything's landing with so much power. Both fighters 
throwing heat now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on screen right now. Oh, Volkanovski's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Big ground and pound. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Volkanovski, ground and pound from half court. Under a minute to go. Volkanovski's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground pop. Gotta be careful here. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, Volkanovski's back in front. Right. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, buddy, take a seat. All right, no big deal. You got a little cut. It's not going to affect us at all. Do not worry about it. I need you to take a deep breath, get out there, and get back. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. Oh, whack. That is a solid kick right there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Yes, catches the kick and counters with the takedown. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. He's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Tokudia gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That was really cool. Combination there, he is just killing him with volume. Two. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's all over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Topordia gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, a nice little right hook there. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters, when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. Head kick there blocked by Volkanovski. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you're blocked a little bit, they still put damage on you. What a fight! Oh, big left. 
30 seconds to go here in our third and final round. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, Chan. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Ilya El Matador All right, no suspense as Bruce Buffer reads the scorecards. A clear decision victory for him here tonight. And jiu-jitsu at this level, even when the finish doesn't materialize, really.